So to set up the VR pawn to work in a new level, what you can do is you can go to maps, anywhere you're gonna have your new level. So I'm gonna create a new one. Let's give it new world, save selected. And if we go through and set this up, so I'm gonna search for sky, bring this in just so we've got a light, directional light, select the sky and then set out a directional light. We're gonna add in a shape which will act as our floor center it to world zero and then we'll scale it up and while we're here we're going to add a skylight and i'm going to add some shapes around the scene just so we can see where we are Because it's a little bit difficult to see just because it's so bright. So basic shapes. Yeah. Oh, we'll do this in each corner. And then cylinder. And then all we need to do now is add in our player start. So we go to the cube in the top left. So add to project, we can go down to uh, basics and then player start. And we can drag this in. And because it's VR, we're gonna place it halfway into the floor. And now when we press play, we'll actually spawn in. And I believe by default, my pawn is set up to use smooth locomotion. So you can see I can move around. But if I change the movement type to shift, we don't actually move because we don't have a nav mesh. So if you're using teleport or shift movement, all you need to do is go to the cube in the top left, volumes, and then we want to get a nav mesh bounds volume. And you can press P on the keyboard to get a visual so it'll turn the floor green and then if we scale this up so it matches our level we can then save all jump right in and it's still a little bit more difficult to see but we can use smooth local motion movement type shift so now we can actually move around our level using all three movement types We fell through the floor. If you do fall through the floor like I did, make sure to select your static mesh and try setting it to block all. And you can also try taking the component, so the spawn point, and raising it up ever so slightly so it's a little bit higher than the mesh. Uh, you may also need to check that your static mesh that you're using actually has a collision attached to it and if you're not too sure if it does because you can't see one here you can go to show and then simple collision and then you can make sure a collision preset is set to block all so now if we test that we should be able to hop right in we can walk around Then we can teleport. It's a bit hard to see on this example, but you can see how we're actually moving. And then shift, we can do that as well. So this is just, this is pretty much the one way that you can actually drop your character into a new level. And then that should allow you to build your own scenes. Cool.